Take us through a little bit of vote counting here. It looks, for all intents and purposes, as if he's lost Bob Corker. He's at war with him. That's one vote. He can only <laughs> afford to lose two. Who are the other people he has to stay, have keep on side? Good morning, David. I think that really a key figure in all of this is going to be Senator Rand Paul, who has tweeted out concerns about tax increases for the middle class. Now, I spoke with senior aides yesterday to Republican members who tell me that the president's comments yesterday saying that significant changes or tweaks are going to be made to the tax plan could center around the state and local tax deduction. That is one of the primary concerns of people like Senator Rand Paul. He also would like there to be perhaps not the quite uh, uh, small amount of tax, br or tax brackets, rather, that the administration has called for. Then you take a look at someone like Senator John McCain, and he is a bit more middle of the road, but has a different set of concerns. He previously has voted against tax cuts back in 2001 and 2003, but he's also someone who has strong deficit concerns. That's something that a lot of Republicans, including Senator Paul, including the likes of Senator Bob Corker, have begun to raise is how exactly are they're going to pay for it, especially if they get uh, rid of the state well, and local tax deductions. And, and especially with John McCain, he's been a big fan of what they call regular order. That means going yep. through the committee process, having the hearings, and oh, oh, heaven forfend, actually including Democrats in it. If they did that, <laughs> that would take like forever, wouldn't it? Absolutely. It would definitely take a much longer time, and I think that they would risk losing the far right heading into 2018 midterm elections. The bottom line, if they get rid of SALT or the state and local tax deductions, that's only even going to curve about $1.3 trillion in, of, of revenue for how they would pay for it. It's still a $6 trillion plan, so yeah, yeah. I think they've got to they've got to somehow figure out how they're going to pay for it. That's what a lot of folks are talking about. Well, and finally and briefly, Kevin, there's this yeah. outlier now of uh, the new senator, perhaps, he still has an election to go December 12th, but Mr. Moore from Alabama, and he has a different approach to income tax. He just basically doesn't want it at all. Yeah, so the the Roy Moore's plan, uh, I think it's important to note because he would essentially get rid of or have no income tax, and he is the representative of where the, the far right is, the, the ultra-conservatives. And that, when you head into midterms with Steve Bannon out of the White House campaigning for folks, is interesting because if more people like Roy Moore are in office, it could be an interesting fight to lie ahead.